ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Retro Tech Ralph. We have a new addition into the garage today, and this is a handheld device made in 1982 by Parker Brothers, or Pally Toy, or whatever it is. Basically, it was invented by a guy called Bob Doyle, he did the program on this, but it's... I don't know whether or not any of you Merlin fans out there will have heard of this, because I bloody didn't. And I had the original Merlin when I was a child, so that was 79. Was it? Well, I don't think I did it in 79, I'm sure. Parents didn't buy it in 79, it might be about 81 or something. This was 82, so this is a follow-up to this. But... Never, I'll assume it's exactly the same as that, but it says 9. All new, exciting, challenging, well, I'm going to say exciting, challenging game. I'm actually quite excited about this. Because I haven't actually opened this. This came yesterday, I think. So, from... Let's get a picture of the front. It looks very much the same as the Merlin, but they've put the extra bits on, on it. Master Merlin. One or more players, seven and up. So if I was essentially on 79, I would have been... Yeah. Blimey. It's a completely different world away. Three shells. Oh my god, no. High-low. Match it. Hit or miss. Pair off. Tempo. Musical leader. Patterns and hot potato. What in the living F is hot potato supposed to mean? <laughs> Another picture of it. Multiple, multiple skill levels. Okay. Top. If anybody's interested. Bottom. Right. Let's get into this thing. It's a little bit warm, but this was in, brought in from America. Because I don't know whether they had it. Parker Brothers is the American version. We had Pally Toy over here. Nothing in there at all. Wow. You've got this silver edge on it. It looks like it's been played with a little bit. There's the gaps. Actually, if you look carefully enough without this thing rolling, there's a gap there. But it's already... The silver's already worn off. Anyway, let's see about a little bit of a... It doesn't look that bad condition, this. I can just be polished up without polishing it away. It's not bad condition, I don't think. On a switch on the side. I'll compare this with the Merlin. It doesn't look bad condition at all. A little tiny bit of dirt, nothing major. Oh. Hmm. Another one with a speaker that doesn't fit right. So let's have a look. Still, ooh, hello. A little bit of corrosion in there. I can get on with them. Um, I thought it's been scraped off anyway, just put a bit of vinegar on that. Let's soak in, in that for a little while and this should be good as new. I think I had a bit of a leak. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, there. Hmm. Only two screws hold it in place. Let's get the old, the original Merlin out. <laughs> that original bloody warranty. Yeah, two screws again. Do you notice that it's very, very similar, if not exactly the same, but it's not. It's virtually the same width. It's the same height, yeah. Virtually the same layout. I have numbers on the pad this time, so if not. I actually looked at an eBay auction for this one, it was a French one, and it was multilingual on the bottom. I didn't really want that. But, so it's 9 volt, same as usual. Put it to one side a minute. Master Merlin. Okay. Well, this is the original instructions. They don't like they're being used much but just squashed into the bottom of this. Hit or miss? No. Don't know. Pair off. <laughs> They've even got, yeah, same as the other one they got, um, Tempo, which obviously show, gives you uh, the buttons you press to make songs. Irish, Washerwoman, Lullaby. But that's by the cure. Twinkle doing a little star. Dirt, 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 dirt. Why is it in threes? Dirt, 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 dirt. What? 
That's not Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Beethoven's Ninth. <laughs> Adventurous. Maybe I'll have a go at one. 180 day limited warranty. Wow. Six month warranty. That's not bad. He's squashing down, putting the box properly, not stuck under the polystyrene. So, tissue out of the way. <sighs> Let's try it. Let's try it, shall we? Right, the socket on the side looks like the small one. I don't even know if I can fit that in. Well, that's awkward. Right. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. That to me looks like it's... Sounded like it worked. That's working. Okay, so what's number one? Three shells. Skill level one to nine. Skill level one. What? 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 Five. Pair off. One, two. What? That turns. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Official don't know what I'm doing. Right. Let's go for... Let's see what this bloody hot potato thing is. Patterns. Patterns. Hot potato. Object. Hot potato is game which one? Nine is it? Nine. Excuse me? Object. Don't guess the secret number. It's a hot potato. Oh, God. Play with a group and try to get try to get some someone else to guess it. What? Okay. What? This is really confusing. Because I've never played it before. I have no idea. <laughs> One, two. What? See, the one was easy with the good notes and crosses on it and stuff. I don't think that, that actually would be easy. Pair off, no, match it. Match it, three. That means two players. One player. Okay, match it. Mel has hidden two unique symbols. Find them, remember where they are, and match them. Okay. What? The wire has got a U on it. Yes. What? Ah. Ah, oh, okay. So they're matched, right? Got you. Okay. So one and three match. <coughs> wow. Right, number four. What's that one? Squidgy bumps. Which is a match. Well, there's three. I can three match. I'm guessing I'm just really good at this. His turn. Okay, well I'm guessing that works fine. <laughs> so, yeah. So the 1982 version of this thing absolutely works fine now. So, yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm staggered, it works perfectly. I mean, the adapter works fine, a little bit awkward, but it is exactly, virtually exactly the same. I can see why they changed to this, to the to the body shell of it, because things got bigger, and this looks like an old phone, but those corners, wow. I mean, this is obviously 70s geometry. Yes, let's make something that you can hit a child over the head with and properly give them brain damage. But this, it's smoother edges, it's getting into the 80s then. 
a little bit of smallness but still it it looks like a it's very wide for a little kid to hold on to can he hold on like that i think hmm maybe so yeah i'm quite happy with that a bit odd but yeah <laughs> it's obviously been growing up with this one it's it's just odd to see something that actually evolved from that into this i mean there's a there's another one on the way it's still in the post should be arriving anytime soon which is the next evolution on from this for the merlin and the the 10th quest because obviously there's only nine games on these and the, if you master all nine games it gives you the 10th but i never knew about it. it can't have been part of anything uk i suppose i mean this i know it's definitely a part of, uh, in europe or something like because there was a uh, the, the guy on ebay selling it who was in france but this one i bought from a guy in america so yeah it's it's fascinating to see stuff like this and it's it's actually some of these games are absolutely really hard to do but once you've figured out what they are they're, they're, they're really easy but yeah i'm quite happy with that it's a good little review of the um master merlin there so thanks a lot for watching like and subscribe please and i'll see you in the next video Retro Tech Ralph, out.